It was built to hop, roll, and take photos on the moon. And after swinging through the solar system for four months, this five-legged lander just made Japan the fifth ever country to pull off a lunar landing. On the 20th of January 2024, at 20 minutes past midnight, the smart lander for investigating moon landed. We have been able to confirm that it has arrived on the moon's surface. Slim left Earth on September 6th, but instead of burning fuel to get to the moon quickly, it took the long way around. The lightweight craft soared, guided only by gravity. On December 25th, it eased into lunar orbit. Its goal was to hit a target on the surface more precisely than ever before. It's very common that spacecraft miss the targeted landing location by a few kilometers, but SLIM aims a landing with a precision of less than a 100-meter error. Once this technology is proven successful, we will be able to land on different terrains such as the moon's poles. SLIM brought digital moon maps from a previous mission, radar and laser rangefinders to pick the perfect crater to land in, and algorithms to make mission-critical flight choices in real time. This is part, then, of wider attempts to try and have efficiency savings and marginal gains uh, in trying to make the moon more accessible for science organizations or universities or government budgets. A new moon race is on. Over the last decade, China and India placed the first modern landers on the lunar surface. The U.S., Russia and China are all planning to send humans there soon. But private companies in the U.S. and Japan recently failed expensive landing attempts. We are finally trying to build a base where people can live or stay for a long period of time on the moon. So it is important that we can show that Japan has the technological capability to make this landing on its own. Early Saturday morning, scientists held their breath and watched. Slim landed in a crater in the Mare Nectaris, the Sea of Nectar. But its solar panels may not be functioning, so in its short battery life, it will send back as much data as possible to teach future missions a sleeker, more efficient way to get there. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.